Hello and welcome to another Game Nexus main review. Today we're going to be taking a look at Guardians, Denjin Makai 2. And here's your intro. This game was released in 1995 by Van Presto and Winkysoft. Pretty weird meaning for a software company, but I figure it works. Now the emulation is 100% perfect on this game, but it's pretty close. I of course chose the uh, female character here. She does a lot of really quick moves, which of course is pretty pretty uh normal for female characters in games, that's why I often choose them as opposed to their male counterparts, who are often just too slow and unwieldy. Now the word Denjin means the uh, god of electricity, and the word Makai was actually a uh, the name of the character from the previous game, Denjin Makai 1, and it also means uh, Devil's Puppet. Now in 1993, Denjin Makai 1 was released, and in 1994, on the Super Famicom, you got Ghost Chaser Denji. The cool thing I like about this game and a lot of uh, beat-em-up games of the time is a lot of them actually featured like weapons you could pick up, which I just really enjoyed a lot because it really just mixed things up quite a bit. Here comes the uh, very muscular boss. When I first saw this character, I was, I'm, I'm still not sure, honestly, if this is male or female. Because when you first look at the character, when he slash she first comes onto the screen, it looks like a female, because you think, oh, those must be boobs. But then when you think about it, they could just be big muscles, but to this day, I'm still not sure. And if you notice right in the front, that little green thing, that's actually the camera guy who's filming the uh, scene you're seeing behind us there, going back and forth. So if you watch that carefully, you'll notice that's what he's actually filming. I know I mention this a lot of times in a lot of my main reviews, but I always find it annoying when you have uh, a lot of enemies with the boss, because this boss is like annoying as it is, but then you have all these guys jumping in. This game uses a rather strange um, control method. Basically, there is one attack and one jump button. And then there's like a, what I, I call the uh, special button. The special button does that, that beam that you saw me doing a few times there. And sometimes press in conjunction with the attack button, your character will do a... Uh, that weird thing where all the, uh, the sparkly stuff came out of me. Now the boss is gonna die. Although that was a little weird. If you notice, the camera guy turned around and the uh, footage still stayed on the character, but uh, really it should have showed like uh, whatever was behind us. But you know, it's just a game, so it's not 100% accurate. That's the only part of the game which really looks like it's messed up, is that screen between stages. It just has a little bit of broken graphics on it, but the rest of the game looks just fine. And there's a creepy big sun rising in the background. When I first saw that, I thought it was some sort of monster coming to eat my character or something. And just like many beat-em-ups, you get your many different, uh generic enemies, 
At least this game throws in like a new one every once in a while, like these big guys here that I'm throwing around. And that's one thing that's cool about this game, is occasionally your character will do a throw. But the problem with the throws is it seems like it's more or less your character will grab an enemy when they're too close. It would have been kind of nice to actually have a throw button, but you know, not all games have like throw buttons like that. And that's what I was talking about. If you press that special button and the attack button in a certain sequence, it'll actually do a um, weird special move where all the sparkly stuff comes out of you. And for some reason, in this area, we're fighting a mech. It feels like Mech Warrior for a second here. And there's all these big fat guys around, because, you know, every, uh, every beat-em-up needs to have some big fat guys. And this part coming up is pretty cool. Now we just jump on the truck, since I guess there's no room for us inside. And this, this part actually reminds me of a lot of the arcade games of the time that had the uh, character on a fixed uh, position and then you just moved around your crosshair. And basically this is just a bonus level where we have to shoot as many enemies as we can and then it's going to grade us at the end, saying how many of the enemies I actually shot which was only about half of them, a little bit more. Although, half really isn't too bad, honestly. And there's another creepy character in the background, holding a sign. Take care of these stupid guys, if I can pick it up here. Take that. The way this, the way this character here does the thing where, uh, when you hit the jump on a certain part of the arc of her jump, when you hit the uh, kick button at that point, she'll do this stomp on your head, kind of like Chun-Li from Street Fighter, which I always thought was pretty cool. And if you're holding the sword, she'll actually stab down with the sword, which you probably saw many, me do many times earlier in this video. And here's more of those generic guys. And as you notice, in some of her combos, she'll actually do a uh, kick like Guile does, that vertical kick. That's another thing that I thought was weird, how when uh, you're standing still, all this energy comes out behind you. Maybe if somebody knows what that means, they could let me know what that actually does. Or maybe if you press a button at a certain time, you get something special. Now this is a samurai guy that seems to multiply himself multiple times. And for some reason, when you kill his multiples, they turn into pieces of wood. I'm going to choose a different character here, just to show you how varied some of the characters could be. This is the female, um, the female Kid Icarus type character. That's what she reminded me of the best. She has some really quick combos as opposed to the other character I was playing as. And when you press your special button, she just pulls out a machine gun. We need more characters in games like that. So basically, that's Guardians. It's a really fun, a really fun beat-em-up. It's got this real anime-esque style, of course, because it was only released in Japan. And it's a really fun time, especially if you had two players to play with. And I will see you next time when I bring you the other games in the series.